Ministers in Kaduna State have made moves for the domestication of Freedom of Information Bill, saying it will help to improve accountability and transparency in governance. A non-governmental organization under the auspices of Transparency and Accountability in Totality Initiative, TNT, tasked the state government and the House of Assembly on speedy domestication of the Freedom of Information FOI Act in the state. Tint, in a, a member of the Digital Rights and Information Partnership, DRIP, with funding from USAID Project, is committed to advocating and supporting both state and non-state actors towards domesticated FOI in Kaduna. While fielding questions from newsmen, the stakeholders reiterated the need to ensure the right steps are taken towards achieving what they call a milestone. Open. And take note, there is nothing in the world that does not need authority to be backed, to act upon. So whether you are talking, your mode of talking must be guided by law. Whatever it is must be guided with. So we know this as a fact. So if the domestication of this um, freedom of information is, is, is required, then it becomes an obligation, it becomes um, a prerequisite on us as a legislator to act on it. But take note, to legislate there are processes. Those processes must be followed to the letter. Rules are meant to be obeyed. In the first instance, the previous administration, up to the last gap before the uh, expiration of uh, the tenure, we were optimistic that uh, the, we will secure the passage, uh, looking at how committed the, the governor is to the passage of the bill. But uh, unfortunately, we could not uh, get the, pass, uh, the, the bill passed. But uh, looking at uh, the kind of stakeholders that we have here and the commitments that we have from there, I think uh, in no little time we will have uh, maybe a further action on which introducing the bill. For the milestone of passing that bill, it was not possible. So bringing this up now, we'll be able to open up um, some of the uh, open up MDs so that they'll be able to get um, civil society and citizens will be able to get access to information and be able to engage government. Because uh, it is when you have when you know what government are doing. Uh, you'll be able to know the challenges that they are facing and you'll be able as citizens to provide unique solutions to those challenges. So it is not just government operating alone because Kaduna is an open governance state. And hearing from them what type of projects do they want to be uh, domiciled in their constituencies. We are talking of community-based projects. And uh, so far within the first uh, four months he has already done his first town hall meeting after 100 days in office. So all these activities are, is a display of showing that the governor has a commitment of being open and transparent as he governs the state.